Hey guys, Jazz here from Dyer Besties, and today we're going to talk about lipohypertrophies. What are lipos? They are abnormal accumulation of fat or scar tissue under the skin, and it happens because of repetitive use of injections in one place. Why are lipos bad? Because they make the insulin absorption very unpredictable. So if you're constantly injecting into a lipo, number one, it doesn't hurt too much because it's become a scar tissue, right? So your brain tricks you into, you know, injecting there only. But the insulin is not getting completely absorbed. In fact, sometimes you could be taking up to 30% more insulin if you are injecting in a lipo. This could cause hyperglycemias, unpredictable hypoglycemias, and just general management issues. What does a lipo feel like? A lipo is often a large or small, rubbery, hard sort of a nodule under your skin. They can become big, they can still stay really small, but they will feel abnormal, they will feel like a lump under your skin. So it's very important to test for lipos. If you do see that you've gotten a lipo, what you need to do? You need to completely stop injecting in that space. Lipos will go away by themselves, but it can take anywhere from up to four weeks to a year, depending on the severity of the lipo. How do you avoid lipos? Well, you have to rotate your injection sites. It is the utmost importance. And you can use these handy guides to do that. You can place them on your abdomen, or if it's a thigh guide, you can place them on your thigh and it tells you where to inject every single time somewhere new. Another easy way to think about it if you don't have a guide is use your finger. It should be at least one finger apart from the last place you've injected and just use both the sides, use all your injection sites so you can avoid a lipohypertrophy. How do you check for lipos? Well, it's very simple. When you're in the shower or use some kind of a lubricant like a shower gel or something, use a flat palm and really, really massage yourself in all your injection sites to test if there are certain hard lumps that you can feel under your skin. The other advice is to always, always try to use a new needle because sometimes lipos can happen even if you're injecting in multiple areas. If you're using the same hardened needle, it can also draw the fat towards the skin and cause lipos. So I wish you very, very lipo-free injection sites. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay type one 